Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C61 D12 license, also known as the Synthetic Products Contractor license. Now what is a synthetic products contractor? A synthetic products contractor installs synthetic countertops, wall coverings, fiberglass, plastic, vinyl, epoxy products, plastic tile board, decorative artwork, synthetic turf, bathtub and enamel refinishing, resin and epoxy application, synthetic caulking and sealants, reservoir liners, vinyl swimming pool relining, pier piling wrap, rodent guards, PVC piping systems for irrigation and drainage, subsurface irrigation and drip systems, and much more. And this definition is straight from the CSLB website, and that's the Contractor's State License Board. So essentially, you need a D12 license to bid on any project that involves synthetic products where the total cost exceeds $500 in labor and materials. Now, how long does it take to get a D12 license? You're looking at an average time frame of about 90 days. You can expect a six to eight week application processing time, and then generally another three to four weeks before you go and take a test. Now, the basic requirements for a California contractor license are that you're at least 18 years of age, you'll need a valid driver's license or USAID, you'll need a social security or ITIN number, and you can't currently be on probation or parole. Experience requirements are that you have at least four years full-time journey level experience in the particular trade associated with synthetic products within the last 10 years. You've got to have somebody who can sign off on that experience, and you've got to be able to submit documentation to the CSLB proving your experience if they ask to see proof. Now, who could you use to sign off on that experience? You could use a licensed general contractor. You could use a D12 license holder. You could use a foreman or supervisor, fellow journeyman or employee at a company, or in some cases, even a business associate. Now, criminal history. Everybody's got to do live scam fingerprinting when they apply for a CSLB license. Be honest on the application. Typically, if your charges don't have anything to do with fraud, forgery, or embezzlement, you should be okay, but be ready to submit court documents just in case. Now, what's on your exam? You'll only have to pass one test to get a synthetic products contractor license. It's 115 questions covering contractor license law. You'll have three hours to complete the test. It's a multiple choice. It's gonna be done on site on a computer and you can bring a translator the day of the exam if you need to. Now the CSLB Law and Business Exam covers business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, safety, and there's a portion covering public works. Now for additional information on online practice tests and study guides, you can check out the links in the description of this video. Now, after you pass your exam, you'll get your results immediately. Typically, if you do need to do a retake, you can do it within about three weeks. And then once you pay your license activation fee, provide a contractor bond number, the CSLB should send you your contractor license in the mail in about two to three weeks. Now, the costs associated with the California contractor license are a state application fee, license activation fee, and then a renewal fee every two years. You'll pay for the cost of fingerprinting, and you'll also need to provide a contractor bond. Now for the most up-to-date CSLB license fees, I suggest you check out our video dedicated to the most up-to-date fees for your contractor license. Just wanna thank you for watching. For more information on the D12 license, getting bonded, trade skills, and more, you can like and subscribe to our channel. Drop any questions that you have in the comments. And for the again, for the full guide on the C61 license for synthetic products, you can check out the links in the description of this video. But again, thanks for watching, and this is digitalconstructive.com.